Hello, in this video we're going to set up a simple health system. So at the moment when I get my player object to run into my astronaut object, it simply relocates to another place on the screen. What I'm going to do is set myself up with some health, and when I hit an astronaut I'm going to lose some health. It might not make narrative sense, but it'll work in terms of how the functionality works in the game. So, when I create my player, what I'm actually going to do is just assign a variable. Now you can do this as health. So if you look up health here, then you've got a bit where you can set health. But really, all you're doing is you're changing this built-in variable called health. And when I tried to use it using the health icons, it actually wouldn't work for me in terms of drawing on the screen. But that's an option for you. You could do it there with setting health. So I'm going to give myself a score of 100 for health once the level is started. Now, every time I hit an astronaut, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that variable. And again, if it works for you, you can in fact use this one down here and you can set the health there. But I'm just going to do it as a traditional variable because I haven't had any luck. I wonder if it's because I'm on the Mac version, but I'm not really sure. So, but either way, it doesn't matter. There's health. And when I hit it, I'm going to make it minus 20. There we go. Now, that will probably work, but we can't see it. So, we're going to go into my projector object. And I'm going to create a draw event. Now, remember, that will make the object itself disappear. But it will put stuff on the screen. And I'm going to get it to show a variable. So, let's just have... You know what? I should be able to just... Um, variable. There it is. Um, let's go for draw instead. Ah, oh, there we go, draw value. So let's say that it's health. Better spell that right. Health, what show, what's it going to show? Well, it's going to show the value of health, and it's going to show it at 10, uh, 10. So hopefully we shall be able to see up in the top corner of the screen what my health value is. But let's give it a run and see. There we go, I'm at 100. Ah, now it went straight to minus 20. Ah, I know why that is. Because when my player object collided, I set it to minus 20 and it should have been relative minus 20. So whatever it was, it'll be 20 less than that. Okay, let's have a look at this again. Always good to do your testing often. There we go, 100. Now, you would think that a game would know that when it runs out of health, this is a problem for you. But you actually do need to build that in. So here in the player object, we're going to set a stepper object or a step. And this will happen 60 times a second. And we are going to check. So if, there we go, check a variable. Well, what's the variable we're checking? This health. Now, let's say if it is less than 1. Because I guess that includes zero, but you might in fact set it to, you know, dropping by 15 and it'll go straight from, you know, 10 down to minus five. So I'm going to set it as less than one. And well, what's going to happen? I need to give it an action. And so I'm going to say restart the room. OK, and remember, I put it on the side and it has that come out there. So that lets me know that that's conditional, that kind of curly line. All right, let's see if it works. So remember, 60 times a second, the program is checking that score to see what it is. There we go. I'm down to health of 80. Down to health of 60. And there we go. Oops. There we go. And it reset. Now I could have a message on and so forth. Now, you can, or at least you should, be able to also have a bar that you can do. So if we're looking back here at the draw object, at the projector in the draw, if you look here for health, you've got this draw a health bar and draw a health instance. Now, I couldn't get those to work on this version of the program, but have an experiment with them and see if you can get those nice um, non-text clues of the bar shrinking as well, because that's really good. But there's your basic health.